All right, I'm Man Cave Tools. Today, we're going to do a video on the Flex Drill Driver. Now, after feeling this and holding this for a while, this is actually a decently compact drill driver. Just a quick uh, size comparison to the Makita Subcompact. As you can see, the Flex is bigger, but this is not a subcompact tool. It's actually a decently small size. I did not buy this. Flex sent this to me. No contract, no payments for it. So let's just look at the specs and get to it. All right, so the drill driver with a 2.5 amp hour battery weighs four pounds and 10.1 ounces. I do think it's awesome that you are able to put the handle that you get on, that you get from the hammer drill on there. All right, but for this log, we're gonna do the 2.5 amp hour. We're gonna move to a bigger log and do lags. We move that to a five amp hour. We're also gonna see in how the eight amp hour battery performs with 21700 cells with the lags as well. Then we're gonna move on to some boards and drill out some holes. And versus videos are coming up against other drill drivers. 2.5 amp hour battery has three bars. That's one thing I will say about when it comes to the charger. If it's, if it's just at the top part of three bars, the charger won't let you charge it to full, so. Almost four bars is not a big deal. Got an eight inch timber lock. All right, that's on speed two. This is a tough piece of wood, that's why I love it. I have another full board like this. So it is a little too tough for speed two. Let's go to speed one. All right, let's see if this can take that out on speed two. Give it one more pull. Nope, speed one's required. I gave it a lot of chances. All right, let's do that on speed one. Having that handle is nice. Time. Let's take it out. We're actually gonna switch out batteries. Let's see if a different battery could do better. All right, let's see if a higher amp hour battery can do better. This is with a five amp hour battery. Up, oh, it's on speed two. Maybe get another pull. All right, so let's see if we can switch out to eight amp hour battery and see if we, we can finish that on speed two. Eight amp hour battery, battery is full. Let's see if this can finish it. All right, let's. Now let's try it with the eight amp hour going all the way in. Almost. It's there. All right, let's see if we can take it out with uh, speed two. Give it three more pulls. Nope, it requires speed one. Oh, sorry. All right, I want to try that one more time. Remember, it's a brand new tool. It needs to be broken in a little bit. See what this can do. Time, it did it. It did it. All right, speed two, it's in reverse. Let's see if we can take it out. Yes, we can. I want to do that one more time, and we're going to try it out with a 5 amp hour. It's on speed 2. Time. Let's take it out on speed 2. All right, see, that's what I mean by the tools need to be broken in. All right, so let's try that again with a 5 amp hour battery on speed 2. Time. It's on speed two. Let's take it out. It is on drill. It is on drill. Time. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's see if it can do it over here. Oh. oh. All right. 
almost time all right now i want to try that one more time with a 2.5 speed two you can do it oh it's doing it's doing it better though about uh three quarters of an inch left time did it hey but that's a lot better than what it did the first time pulling the trigger on this Oh, able to do it on speed two. That was on speed two. Able to do it. All right, let's do one more. This is a good way to break the tool in. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's take it out. No problem. Hey, it's able to do that on speed too. That's actually pretty darn impressive. Pretty darn impressive. I think it's three quarter inch maybe. But anyways, let's drill out a couple of three quarter inch holes. Half inch fully metal chuck. Let's see what this can do on speed two. Now I'm hoping it can do three holes in a row without stopping. Uh, it bled into the other hole. Yep, bled into the other hole. Let's redo that. It did stop that time. Did stop that time. Let's do it on speed one. Remember, that's with a 2.5 amp hour battery. That's not bad. That's not bad at all for a 2.5 amp hour battery. And these are not the new lithium stack batteries. Five amp hour battery. No problem at all. All right, so next let's see if the 2.5 amp hour battery could do a uh, one and a quarter inch speed bore and a one and a half inch speed bore on speed two. And remember this battery is not full. There are three bars left. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a bad uh, drill driver at all. It's not a bad drill driver at all. Does it click one more to lock it in? Yes, it does. Okay, if I can get you to hear that. All right, speed two, 2.5 amp hour battery. I'll be amazed if it can, but I'm actually expecting it not to do it because not many brands could do this uh, on speed two with a low amp hour battery. Yep. Yeah, this is a hard task for speed two. Not even close. So yeah, so it's not gonna, let's time speed one though. All right, so we already know that it's not going to do a one and a quarter inch, so let's do one and a half on speed one as well. Then let's swap out batteries, and we'll compare the times in between the batteries. All right, so let's switch over to the five amp hour. Oh, that's... Totally not locked into place. Got it. All right, let's continue on that. Up oh, speed two might be too much for the five amp hour battery. Yep. Oh, let's just pop this five amp hour out and let's get the eight amp hour. 
see if the 8 amp hour battery could finish that on speed 2. Alright, let's see if it, 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 let's see if it could finish it. Nope, because a lot of regular drill drivers can't do what the bigger brother hammer drills can. That's actually pretty normal. Yep, can't do it. Even with an 8 amp hour battery. Now this is a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Then we'll do with the 8 amp hour battery, then we'll do the one and a half. That is speed one. Time. Not too shabby though, not too shabby at all. Is this as powerful as its bigger hammer drill brother? No, but it seriously does have some power. All right, so in this vlog, we're mainly gonna use the five and the eight. I wanna test out for one four inch lag to see if the 2.5 amp hour can do it on speed one. Nope, I knew that was gonna happen. Now let's get to the real test. Let's do that with a five amp hour battery. That did it. It stopped at the last uh, half inch, but it did do it. Let's see if we could take this out. I remember this is the first video that we are having with this. It's gonna get better as we go along. It still needs to be properly broken in. And what, by the time that happens, Versus videos are coming. Wow, not too shabby. Let's try that with the eight amp hour battery with 21700 cells. Oh, sorry. I have a feeling that this adapter is on its last, on its last leg. All right, there's about a uh, quarter inch left. Normally these drill drivers aren't as powerful as their bigger brothers are. Let's take this out. Got it. That's not too shabby. Like I said, I do love that you're able to use the, uh, the hammer drill handle with this. That is a good feature to have because especially with some of the applications you'll be using, it'll be better to have a handle than to try to push, press this against your body to create more leverage. But like I said, I got plenty of versus videos coming up with regular drill drivers. It does feel good in the hand, it feels balanced. And that 2.5 amp hour battery for a lot of applications that you use for a drill driver, it, it's actually pretty, it's actually powerful enough. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Plenty more videos of this coming up. This is just video number one. This channel is gonna get the lithium stack batteries in a little while, and we're gonna test this tool out with that and also use those batteries with this for versus videos along with the other flex tools. Please subscribe to the channel. We do have this flex reciprocating saw video coming soon. It does have orbital feature. I'll tell you this right now, it actually is a pretty decent size. It's not too big, it's not too small, but a video's coming out with this and versus videos against uh, Milwaukee, Makita, Ryobi, and whenever I get other reciprocating saws. So if you think Flex for sending me this, like I said, I'm not under any contract whatsoever or being paid for this. I get to create content with it at, and do whatever I want with the content and I'm just gonna do what I normally do. Uh, versus videos are coming up with this in the future. So if you found this video helpful and, and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.